30 years in, uh, involved in motorcycle racing. I started uh, as a mechanic in, in, uh, in uh, 86. Uh, 20 years with uh, LCR team because uh, the team was uh, set up in 96 and uh, 10 years in MotoGP class because the first time uh, we, we jumped in the MotoGP class was uh, in 2006. I really wanted to go racing, but my parents didn't want, so I start uh, as a mechanic helper, and then uh, one year later I was I was mechanic. Then, um, because I insist too so much with my parents, then they they decided to let me go racing. But they said, okay, uh, you can go racing, but you cannot, you will not have any 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 help from us to get the money the first time to go racing. I I sold. Uh, my street motorbike to my girlfriend. I won the European Championship and uh, I met someone in the European Championship called Valentino Rossi. <laughs> and he was already a really, really strong rider. <clears throat> and uh, I decided to set up my own team and then try my best to, to pursue my dreams. But I borrowed some money from one mechanic, you know, and <laughs> then I gave back <laughs> the year after <laughs> to, to my mechanic. And uh, yeah, we started with, as, like many riders in that period, uh, with a small van and uh, just uh, with, in one crate, we ship everything for, for, for the first race, which started uh, March 29 with the practices in, in Malaysia in, uh, in 1996. My first sponsor ever was, was my hairdresser <laughs> with the 50 euro per race, I remember. <laughs> and uh, my, my, my second sponsor was uh, my motor club. 10 years uh, of my racing was in the World Championship, always in the 125 class. And I, uh, I always said to myself, I'm going to move into the 250 class only if I arrive in the top three of the World Championship. I arrived two times four. <laughs> Especially in 2003 was, was, uh, was um, pretty clear for me to, to stop racing because uh, I was uh, leading the World Championship. I had uh, already a teammate called the Casey Stoner and uh, he started to beat me, you know. <laughs> And then uh, I was thinking, wow, this kid with 16 years old uh, is uh, beating me with uh, 32, with so much more experience. And then uh, I start to realize that uh, maybe I could, uh, I could consider to stop. I feel lucky because I had uh, a lot of good moments as a rider, but as well as a team manager. For example, like last year in Argentina Grand Prix, you know, we were battling for the podium with Carl Crutcher and we could reach the podium. We've been in the podium together with Valentino Rossi and, and, and uh, Andrea De Vizioso. Jack Miller could uh, beat all the open rider and uh, arrive first. So, I remember that I was in the park for me living a dream, you know. This was one of the greatest moments of, of my life. If your passion is, is really strong, but even if uh, the, the, the final goal is, is, is very, very far, but if your passion is very strong, don't give up because uh, sometimes it's possible to realize uh, our own dream.